my great pleasure to welcome you to the third in a series of the Joint Select Committee virtual town hall meetings, looking at the National Identification Registration Bill 2020. And again, I am indeed Kimberly McLeod, and I will be taking you through today's proceedings. And we begin with a question posed by Justine on Facebook. And Justine wants to know, if the NIDS data will be stored in a single database, and I pose this question to the NIDS technical team. In respect of that question, no. The data, the NIDS data will not be stored in a single database. Under Clause 9 of the bill, it provides for the national databases, which will consist of the civil registration databases and the national identification databases. Under the civil registration databases, there will be multiple databases, such as, for example, birth, birth databases, with, which will deal with matters specifically relating to births. There will be marriage databases, death databases, to give you some examples. Also, under the national identification databases, which will, in which all identity information will be stored some of the, the, um, the databases under, under national identification will be biometric databases um, and fingerprints databases, to name a few. Thank you so much, Mrs. Miller-Williams. Uh, and also on Facebook, we have George Don McCalla, who wants to know, how will they, I assume the NITS team, and the government protect our information from smart computers acting on their own? Clause 23 provides a f uh, for a framework for which the authority shall put in place security plan that ensures that enrolled individual's identity information is accorded the highest level of security to protect the information from unauthorized access, unauthorized use, unauthorized disclosure, and loss. But what do we mean by this? And what is it that the government is doing? So the government is doing a number of things. And the first one that I want to bring to your attention is that all identity information will be encrypted. All sensitive information in the databases will be encrypted. Very important to know that. The government is also enhancing the cybersecurity infrastructure of all of the ministry um, departments of government and agencies that are of national um, importance and national significance. And these are the entities that are involved with the implementation of the National Identification Program. The government is also uh, establishing um, institutions for data protection and independent oversight of the national, the proposed National Identification and Registration Authority to guarantee oversight and those mechanisms and safeguards. Very important to note that. The government is also strengthening as part of the NIDS program as significant investment in strengthening the networks and the security appliances at the various endpoints that will interact with the NIDS program. Will it be issued free to all Jamaicans? The National Identification Card will be issued free to, to all Jamaicans um, and also persons ordinarily resident in Jamaica who, enro who are enrolled in the system. Mm -hmm. So in terms of um, validity, period of validity, in relation to persons who are 18 years, who are younger than 18 years, it will be valid for a period of five years. So mm -hmm. persons who are younger than 18, mm -hmm. the card will be valid for, for five years. For persons who are 18, 18 and older, but younger than 60, it will be valid for 10 years. And persons who are 60 years and older, the card will be valid for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Would it be possible for you to explain uh, what is the rationale behind the periods of validity for the National Identification Card. When you look at m minors um, between, uh, from birth all the way to 18, your features tend to change um, quite often. Mm -hmm. And we are using the benchmark that the passport office is using, so we renew, using that as a standard to renew every five years. 
when you're above 18 all the way to 60, I mean, your features tend you know, to change over a 10-year period, and research has shown that. And for persons above 60, um, their features tend not to change. They, they have more like a 15-year period, and that is why we would have used those as the benchmark. I'm going to move on now to Krista Z on YouTube, who's asking, when someone accesses the information of another person, can other people in the system see it and see how long they were on the records? Under Clause 24 of the bill, identity information can only be verified with the request of the identity owner. It's important to, to note that. The identity owner must be notified based on the design of the solution, also in the framework that we're looking at, and must be notified every time the, a disclosure or verification is done. The new NITS bill has been drafted and is ready for review. We want to hear from you. Go to www.japarliament.gov.jm to download a copy of the new bill. Join the conversation. Make a written submission to Clark to the Houses, Gordon House, 81 Duke Street, Kingston, or via email clark at japarliament.gov.jm. All written submissions must be sent by Friday, January 29, 2021. Join the process. Let your voice be heard.